Anyway, guys, welcome. Now we're getting to a the other um, first person uh, vod game that I did before. It's actually consecutively between this. This game was a game that I played after last game. You see, I just said uh, in it. Do I give lessons? I do give lessons actually. Uh, oh yeah, just the guys were asking me the lessons in that. Hour, so it's not really Should you do? By the way, thing to intend. But anyway, I tried helpful. Um, like, oh, forty dollars, and then they'll give you like an hour of shit. This is awkward. As I talk like over myself long. talking. Constantly, I, I make you think. Like, that's something I've noticed a lot of people when they give lessons they don't do is that they don't actually ask questions like, What do you see? What do you feel? How do you think this game's progressing? And I do all of that. Like, I try and give you a, ga a game where, or not a game, but multiple games, a lot of things that happen um, where it's just, Hey, let's make things happen. So if you want, if you want, I can give it to it now too. Like, I don't say, like, Yeah, we've got a schedule, blah, blah, blah. We can just go ahead and, uh, if you want, after this game, I could literally just give you a lesson. Okay, I think I stopped talking now. Uh, will I? I don't know. But anyway. Alright, but now, yeah, this is going to be my favorite situation for, um... For StarCraft 2 right now. This is my favorite, uh, game to play. My favorite style, favorite map. Um... PVT, mass expansion, pure gateway units and observers, um, and it really works only on Taldarim, the way I like it to, because you can get so many bases so quickly. Um, I'm going to go for a little bit of a spoiler and tell you that this game, it's not that long, and I have four bases at the end of it. So the whole getting four bases and staying alive thing without being too greedy is a really fine line that I love to try and walk. So we're going to see how I do it. Um, here's me once again doing my good old block off the mirror line with a gateway. And this makes me a little unhappy, the fact that he's close spawn. I mean, it's telling so nothing's really close. But it's still close enough that I do have to worry about aggression, but this gives me an opportunity with those two watchtowers to be, um, to be really, really really focused with the watchtower, and I'll give me enough of warning to really make sure I can do the right thing. But now we're going to go ahead and watch this dance around. I'm going to get my gas seal fairly soon. I hope. I think I do. I always try and gas seal against Terran, just because, especially with this style, you really want to limit um, cloaked banshees, because you do get a later robo generally. I mean, there are ways to get it sooner, but I really like staying with gateway units as long as I possibly can. Um... Now we're going to see my Cybernetic score, and yep, and my late pylon. Actually, it's not really too late, but it is late enough that I'll probably be supply box for a second. Just me checking the chat my stream. By the way, whenever I stream, guys, I always do check out the chat a lot. Also, with me listening to the stream as just as uh, just not TV, such as Xander Fever, I also use Ghost of Crew. I'm also going to be casting on Zeke's I cast on a lot of channels and do a lot of stuff in different channels. It's kind of annoying, but that's why I have the Twitter, so I can just have that for me saying, Hey guys, I'm casting on this channel now. So, that's what's up. Alright, so now, notice the position of his barracks is perfect for me. I can see exactly if he gets an add-on. And add-on is going to be one of the first things that he's is going to be getting if he's going for tech. Um, if he gets a tech lab on and I see it, if he's going for a reaper, I know I'm going to expanding. If I see him getting a marauder and not much else, odds are he's expanding. If I see him get a tech lab and a marine, odds are he's expanding. Um, so, Tally Malter, it's not unhealthy to assume they're going to get an opponent to a fast expansion, which is fine. Um, we're going to see what's been happening. I believe I'm waiting for his scout to come. Yep, there it is. I should have tried and micro to get another shot off, but I just miss it. There's a there's a way to do it if you can block that speed for a split second, and then uh, control your Zella to not stop standing, or not stand still, and you, know, you can hit him again. So that's a really good way to uh, help out yourself. You can see him also use the F keys. Guys, use the F keys. Utilize them a lot. Any of you guys who played Brood War know exactly what I mean when I say utilize the F keys. Um, I hockey, I set my hockey so that if you say if it shift F two, it basically hockeys that screen. And if you um, yes. I do the same thing for F three and F four. So you can see that right now my both my nexus is set to um, an F key. I have F two for my main, F three for my natural, and I can dart back and forth really easily. And it makes transferring probes and doing things like that much simpler. All right, now this is the second step of um, 
of this one gate expand is afterwards you get two gateways and you produce off a three for a while. Notice I'm also staying on one gas only. This is to get Sentry Zealot off one gas and it actually works out really well in the timings for uh, what you want to do. I'm also going to be setting up to get my double forge to get my uh, early plus one plus one and when that forges are halfway done you can easily go ahead and get out um, Twilight Council and then when the Twilight Council finishes you'll be just ready to start the plus two plus two works out really really well we've seen a lot of players use um, plus attack time pushes really well two players that come to mind when I say that are Liquid Tyler and uh, Mao's Hesuobs or Hasuobs I would say Hasuobs when it's Hasuobs but you notice that now I'm already starting to work on my rocks with these few nodes but I feel like I can because I have that watch I have that all important watchtower in these spawning positions Scouting. You notice that I'm always scouting. You can't really tell with my eyes, but I am staring at um, the minimap at times. So I really have to try and focus on uh, watching that as well. So you see Chrome boosting out pretty much just probes at the moment. But now we're going to see you get out my uh, next... There we go. There's the forges. And then my gas will come shortly thereafter. I was actually going to try and block it off too, but I realized that he could then drop behind those gateways, so I didn't block it off. I was hoping that the forges actually would at first, but they didn't, but I'll live. Alright, so now we're seeing that uh, I had enough for one stalker, so I went and got another one. You can notice I'm also shift queuing them back and melee into a defensive position, and uh, now I'm going to start working on getting out everything I possibly can to help myself. There's a few lag spikes in the game, but nothing, not at micro times or anything. But now I'm so happy this game misses my double forge, because that's actually a pretty big deal. But now uh, you see that. I'm still only on three gates. I'm going to be able to utilize this ramp for a very good defensive position. I notice that he's actually still not pushing out, so I'm going to go ahead and scout for his third, because I think, hey, he might be doing some crazy expanding stuff too, because um, I haven't seen any drops. I haven't seen anything along the lines of Banshee play, so he's got to be going for economy. So I'm running around with my probe. I'm sacrificing that watchtower for a little bit. Um, I see those rocks are still there, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump to his natural. Get my own third after I got the uh, plus um, one plus one on the forge heading there, and I see the bunkers. I'm like, good, he expanded. He's playing defensively, he's playing passively. This is exactly what I want. And I can see him sending out a little bit of a scout, but I kill it um, pretty pretty quickly. And I should be going off and. Uh, yeah, my chrome boost is too low at the moment. Um. I don't want to say I was chrono boosting too well because that's a blatant lie. I just mismanaged my chrono boost to the point where I wasn't able to immediately go for uh, what I wanted. See my supply block there slightly, uh, but not a big deal. I think actually it was only literally for a few seconds, but my money is still low. I'm not getting the watchtower again, and I'm dancing around trying to think about what I want to do next. I'm thinking good places for the Twilight Council. See my upgrades are uh, pretty close to half. I think actually a little bit over halfway. But my chrome has not been great, but a hey, drop, you see that? And actually, I'm going to do two things. You can watch as I warp in guys on my main, to make sure I can defend. I do it in that little hole, too, um, that I created. And you can see him do this, and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I can kill it. Um, so it's going to happen. I'm going to actually take my stalkers now, because I'm pretty much safe over there. I'm going to start trying to hit that, uh, that medevac. You can see, yeah, he's like, immediately distracted. like, oh god, my drops just failed. So he's going to try and uh, panic and do some kind of damage. I'm still getting upgrades throughout all of this. And here he drops the marines. I'm just going to target down the medevac. Not going to let him drop all eight marines. Or if he has two mirage or something, I'll be fine. Especially if he had two mirage, that would have been really unfortunate. But I don't think he even managed to kill uh, much of anything. But there are my upgrades. You can see that the plus two down there is about to happen. And there it is. So now I have plus two, plus two on the way. My plus one, plus one is done. And I want to start working on getting out more gateways. i got to be able to produce. This is a macro style. It requires lots of production. Also, you notice that how I do a double shift um, Q when I go back to the middle lines? It's just because I don't want my guys going behind the middle patches, then to the front, and just annoying being annoyed with the AI. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I can actually uh, have what I want. But now you're starting to see that I'm getting supply blocked a little bit more, a little more easily, just because I have so much economy behind these three bases that i got to keep on producing. And there's my charge going down, and there's observers. Mass observers are a beautiful scouting tool. So you know, watch as I go ahead and uh, you know, as this as much as I possibly can. All right. So now there, me getting the next gases. I you can wait on getting near for the six gases because it's not a huge deal. You're actually using mostly zealots for your army anyway. Um, and you can see that I'm getting more guys out. And there's a 
increase the gateway count, and now Templar Archives work on Archons. I actually get Archons before Storm, because um, you want some kind of AoE uh, damage just when you're going with Terra, it just helps a lot. And Archons are not bad at that, really. Um, they're actually a very good unit that I'm happy to see get used more and more and more lately. And now you're starting to see the macro. There it is. I got the scout and no, I can respond to everything accordingly. And you just saw the mask warpings and it's just going to continue. Right now I'm at about 130 food with plus two plus two upgrades about to complete. I'm going to start working on doing a push. And there is that next base. I do see that third coming. He watched me move out so I'm not going to actually attack immediately. I'm going to let him sweat a little bit and then I'll start working on when can I actually do an effective push. And you can see him start spraying out my observers. Around his main base, I see he's got a lot of um, facilities on the main map. I'll be checking them fairly soon. Got to work on my next set of upgrades. So there is my plus three armor, plus three weapons going on the way. And now you can start seeing the, uh, really mainly a Zealot Archon force. I'm just preparing for a big push right now. Making sure I'm aware of uh, what he's trying to do. I've actually got, um, I believe I built those pylons already. Yeah, that probe's running around. I built the pylons. Yep, there it is. Alright. So, yeah, so you notice I'm still making probes, too. This is a macro style. This is pure macro. You're going to win this with macro and macro alone. So now I'm going to get out um, my other uh, archons. You can see I'm just getting a lot of the possible camp. I actually don't have enough gateways. You see my money is starting to get really, really high. I also got to start getting my uh, plus three. And there's the Archon of Eden coming. You can see my Chrome Boost is over there, and now there is the uh, plus three uh, weapons coming on the way. And there are more Zealots. And see, I told you, mainly Zealots are exactly what I'm going to be using for the army. I don't know if I have Blink. I should be getting Blink soon. Um, yeah, but now my fourth base is coming in. There's Blink. Okay, good. Because it's, it's a Zealot Stalker army as the main units in it, so you want to have Charge and Blink. They're essential to really making use of this. And also, I, don't, I, I think I've started Storm, but I'm not really making use of it. Now reinforcing with a fast-moving units, and here's going to come in. He doesn't really have any time. Like, I'm ready to force field um, to make sure they can't repair, but there's just so many Zealots, such high damage output. It doesn't really matter, but now I'm going to pull back, try and engage in a better spot. I don't want to be hit in the choke. This this spot is advantageous for him to in the choke, but there is the inability to micro from him from his force fields, and now I'm just reinforcing with uh, not enough warpmans. But now he's going to move in, and I am just staying alive. Guardian shields, uh, plus two, plus two, Zealot stalker right now, and he can't do anything. I don't even know what his upgrades are, but it almost doesn't even matter. You can see I'm just microing a little bit and just damaging everything. My fourth base is now up and running. I'm now going to add in a bunch of gateways as I hit 2,000 minerals. <laughs> oh, God. And now there's, she calls GG. And I won. So game is done. And that is a mass expand gateway unit style um, that I really, really enjoy. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um... Part in the beginning with the whole like me not talking because I don't know if you can hear the stream or I mean the other video before, but that is a less than 13 minute game ride for bases. So hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much.